Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I build up and paint the 124th Fujimi de Tommaso Pantera. I had seven days to build this, a that 70s week group build on Discord. I almost made it. <laughs> it took me eight and a half. First time I saw one of these was mid 80s. Blackie Lawless had one. So did George Lynch. It was so cool looking. Fortunately, this model is basically cabin and body, with a little chassis work. Let's start with the undercarriage. The part prep on this kit was really nice. Well molded. The axle housings are simple. This is the rear one. This is the front. The wheels turn together. A cover then goes over both. Those are the caliper pins and point in on each axle. That's pretty much it. I then painted the lower assembly in Mr. Surfacer Black. Spoiler, you could paint them polka dot. You can't see them at all at the end. They go on without trouble. The tires had an awful seam. I spun them on my Dremel 4300. This adds a little depth. The one on the left is untreated. The rubber was looking rough, so I used a Q-tip and Armor All to clean them up. Makes a difference, as you can see. Here's the cabin, where I probably spent the most amount of time. I made carpet with 120 grit sandpaper. I should have painted it separately and added it later. It would have made masking and painting easier. I primed with Mr. Surfacer 1500, then sprayed it with sand brown acrylic. It thins great with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. It ended up having a nice leathery look. A decals go here, but I wanted to be sure there was no see-through. The radio. I probably didn't need to paint those, but better safe than sorry. Then the switches and some chrome. I just used Microsol. I put some down, then the decal, and then more Microsol on top. Put the decals on the console dials as well. This is an agate burnishing tool that jewelers use for gold foil and such. It works perfectly on masking tape and doesn't mar the paint. I then painted on the sandy brown lacquer, which ends up lighter. Then 
some trial fitting. The tab goes there in the floor. And there it is. I think it turned out pretty nice. For the body, there was very little prep work. After washing everything, I used an anti-static brush to clear the surface and primed with Mr. Surfacer 1500. I did some sanding and then primed it again. In between all the body priming and painting, I worked on the cabin. And I worked on some detail painting. First, the exhaust. I'll go into this in more detail in the upcoming Thunderbird video, and with a better effect. I went a little heavy with the pale burnt metal, and a little light on the black chrome. It's not a model to pick up and look underneath. Keep track of which crumb insert goes in which housing. These are the rear light housings. So this is where I was after the fourth day. So I jumped on a Kits and Bits live stream and added the wheels and cabin off camera. I hit it with four coats of Mr. Color Gloss Black 2 in increasing wetness. It's a gloss paint, but I couldn't get a uniform gloss coat. I messed up with three kinds of regular tape and three kinds of curve tape, then sprayed with Mr. Surfacer 1500. Not sure the return on investment was that good. It was on the lower body effects though. I then applied two clear coats of GX100, thinned one to two with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. I was running out of time, so I left it at two coats and wasn't able to use any polishing compounds. It turned out okay, I guess. Lastly, the final assembly. These go in the front bumper housing. I've added these parts. I added those to the front. I've added the rear light housings and bumpers. You need to have those lower panels on tight because the cabin indexes into them. I then added the side mirrors and wipers and it was done Wednesday morning. Here's the reveal. I hope you like it. I'll have to find a good place for this, where a wizard or warlock can find it and turn it into a real one for me.
Thank you so much for watching. Be well and happy modeling.